morning folks. I thought I'd give you a little update from the polytunnel and uh, we'll have a little chat as I go by. Well, as you can see here, the bishop's children are going lovely. Just look at these. I've got, obviously I must have um, dropped a couple in that one, probably not one in there probably, but you know, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That one's, that one's come out, so that one's, that was my fault because the stick was in the wrong place. So, so we've got quite a few there, but and again here, these are pom-pom. So what we've got, uh, we've got seven in there so far. There's, the others still might come through, you know. We've only got three come through, in, four in here so far. And only one in here. Ah, and look at that little white fella there. Ah, that's probably the culprit. That is probably the culprit. That li oh, I don't, that's too close. There you are. Oh, it's moving. He's moving, folks. He's got to go out. He's so... Look, let's just show you something, folks. Look how small he is. He, uh, he's, he's, he's just like a bit of grain. <laughs> well, not that small, but you know, you know what I mean. I think we'll have to uh, get him out of there. Oof. Hang on. Hang on. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't think he'll last long. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, look, folks, we've got a couple of lupins growing. Lupins take quite a long time to germinate. And um, so there's still plenty of time for more activity in there. It can take six or seven weeks and they were planted on the 11th of March so it's only been four. We've got some dahlia show piece so um, there's one there coming through sorry I've got, I'm using my new camera and I'm still getting used to the um, positioning I keep I'm looking at the screen and uh, keep forgetting Anyway, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight in there. And we've got some more here. Showpiece, three, four. Yeah, we've got another one. We've got one popping through just there. So that's quite good. And if we come back down here, folks. Um, now, I did notice some of the leaves vanishing. And it's the snails. The snails have been eating. Look at it. Look. I've had to put pellets down, I've just had to, because they stripped them the other year. I lost a whole lot. Um, now, if you are going to use slug pellets, you've got to remember that when you're watering, it will stop the... You've got to keep replenishing the slug pellets, otherwise, you know, um, with the water and that, when, you've, when you're uh, watering, um, the slug pellets will become less potent and they won't work. So I can see that um, they are suffering one or two of them. So fingers crossed for there. That's why it's a good idea not to have them all in one spot. You'll notice in a minute that I've got mine dotted around. So we're going to come across here. Now these are all uh, poppies, Iceland. Now the other year I had no success at all with these. Now I think what the problem was is I probably never, I probably filled in the label and did the soil and probably never planted the seeds, sowed the seeds. But, uh, let's see if we can get in. So that's what they look like. So tiny, hence why there's multiple ones in some of the cells. Whether, whether we'll have any success in transplanting them, that's another matter. Over here, We've got Rudebecker. Let's see if we can zoom in. There you are. It's amazing, all the different leaves. And then if we come over... There, oh, sorry. Panning too quickly, folks. Sorry about that. We've got some Bishop's Children down here. 
interestingly there's only four four where nothing's come through so far out of the 15 so I've got some more here so we're doing very well with the dahlias and here we've got some sweet peas look at those they're all coming through well, I say they all are, they're not all. Some of them are. <laughs> Never mind. And then, when we come over here, these are the carnations. They're not looking great. Oh, don't know what that is, what's in here. Folks, what's this? What is that? Looks like a dandelion. Well, that's coming out. Don't know what it is. It's coming out. So we've lost a. And that one's obviously no good. So you see, we do get some losses. And there's all. They're all clungulas at the back there. And then we've got some lupins. And then a few more lupins over there. Some of them I've got to give another water into. <laughs> these are all, all these geraniums probably I'm going to leave for a while. They they can they like dry conditions, so you can go without watering them for a few days. Uh, in fact, I think some of those might it might be too wet for them. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm going to I'm going to stay away from watering those. Oh, now. Oh my god, I can't believe how these are shot up. These are the cosmos. Well, let's just show you over there. They're the Lobelia. Now, these are all cosmos. Oh my god. God, haven't they grown? I can't believe that. God, they're going to have to be... One, one, they've got their proper leaves coming that. I, I, they're going to have to be transplanted and look how many is there? I know I've got my cousins and that want some and my uh, friend Catherine and Anne down the road. Um, looks as though I'm going to have enough. I think I need about 80 of those. Looks quite promising, doesn't it? And if we come and look up here, we've got some Cosmos Ladybird up here. They're a bit further behind, but I think I'll planted those later. Yeah. So, you know, looking at those, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's fifteen in that one, and there's three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a twelve in that one, so yeah, we should, fingers crossed, be okay with the cosmos. And just look here, folks. These came up so suddenly these are the zinnias now i can see we've got um one two three four five six seven eight nine um ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty we've got twenty one of those through they're giant doubles and here we are we've got a few more um, begonias. Now, what's worth checking, what's, just to give you an idea folks, you know, if you look at these, these are Lobelia. Now if you, they're the ones that have been transplanted and these are the tiny ones which haven't. You can see how they, the uh, been stunted. And then we move across here. Now these, this is what I was saying about the um, not to leave all your plants in the same spot, have them dotted around just in case you've got a snail problem or other problem. Now just look at those. Now the difference is with these, these are filled out more, is that these have got more light. The others are underneath, they've got less light. The light makes a big difference. Now, there is certain things where you can get away with it to, to some extent. The strawberries will quite happily grow where it's a bit more shaded. 
but once they start getting flowers and that, you got to make sure that they've got a nice sunny spot. At least that's at my experience. We move across here, we've got some more um, geraniums, some more African marigolds. Those are calendulas what I never got transplanted. And then at the back we've got a few asters in there. The lupins. And then down here these are all the asters. Let's look at those. So everything folks. Let's just see if I can get a, a bigger picture. It's a bit hard, I haven't got the wide angle on this camcorder. But that just gives you an idea. Got the strawberries down here. It just gives you an idea of what there is in here growing. So much. So much stuff. All the way up. So there you are folks, that's a little update. Hope you've enjoyed that and uh I'll say bye until next time.